Hey, this question came from a listener named Kate. Thank you, Kate. Um, this is the question. Hey, Warren, good morning, good afternoon. I'd like to know what I can do to have my cat stop over grooming. She grooms during the day. She grooms at night when I'm sleeping. It's just getting too concerning. She coughs up hairballs. I have to keep on giving her the stuff for hairballs, and it's just very annoying. She doesn't let me sleep at night. I think she has a nervous habit, or she's stressed or something. I just changed my room around. I don't know if that can be it, but before I change my room around, she always groomed excessively uh, as well. Uh, getting worried. Well, maybe you should be worried. Maybe you shouldn't be worried. Let's go over a few things, okay? Why do cats overgroom? Obsessive compulsive disorders take place in all living things, including our dogs and cats. But before you approach this, the first thing you need to do is rule out any medical conditions. There can be medical conditions that may cause your cat to overgroom. There's also something we call uh, psychogenic alopecia. Once you've seen the vet and he's ruled out all the medical reasons that may be causing the overgrooming, if he says it is psychogenic alopecia, that's more of a behavioral issue where someone like me comes into play. So why is your cat overgrooming? You said you changed the room around. I'm not sure if you made any other changes, but cats will overgroom if there's any stress going on, if there's a divorce going on, uh, uh, one argument can cause it, if you change the furniture around, uh, new carpeting, uh, new smells, anything that you've done in the house can create a scenario which may stress your cat out and the cat will start licking himself an awful lot. So why? A couple of things. Number one, not only psychologically does your cat enjoy the licking and it calms him down? But also more importantly, when your cat is licking, it releases the endorphins. We know endorphins by now, it's that feel good. So what happens by licking, your cat may be stressed out and the endorphins come out. So the licking is now making him feel good. And even though with stress may be gone, it may develop into a habit at this point. That's what it may sound like to me. But again, I want you to rule out anything anything uh, medical, so you want to have that conversation with your vet. Take a good look around your house too. What stresses may be there? Uh, did someone move in? Did someone move out? Uh, did you change something? Maybe the, the cologne you wear? All these things make a big difference. The other thing I want you to do is once you've tried to figure out what changes there are, and if there have been no changes, what I want you to do is increase the mental stimulation of your cat. You know, I talk about this all the time. Cats are nomadic by nature. They love change in their environment. Very often, if they're bored, they will overgroom as well. What do I mean by change in the environment? Years ago, people would let their cats outside. In most cases, that's way too dangerous, and I'm a strong advocate of indoor cats. However, there's no reason you can't make the indoor of your home outdoor interesting. Cardboard boxes, you hear me talk about that all the time. Organic plants that are safe for your cat, change them around, move things around. These are all comforting factors for your cat. Give your cat a lot of high places. Cats feel a lot more comfortable when they're at high places. So the bottom line is this. And again, uh, Kate, I know it's stressing you out, and I understand that. I know the hairball things. By the way, and again, I hate to plug my own products, but I'm going to. My Hugs and Kisses Vitamin Mineral Supplement Treats, again, contains lecithin and biotin. Nothing better for skin and coat can help prevent hairballs as well. But I think there's a lot more going on here. If, again, the medical reasons are all ruled out by your veterinarian, and we are talking about psychogenic alopecia, follow my advice. Also, what you may want to do when you leave the house, uh, try to make the cat more comfortable, uh, leave a radio on, preferably talk or music, depending on what you normally listen to. Maybe leave some articles of your clothing that are unwashed around the house. All these things can make a big difference. Don't get angry at your cat. He's not doing it to make you angry. He's not doing it to make you upset. Something, something is just not right. Hoping it's not a physical problem, but again, if it is a mental problem, thousands of clients of mine, thousands of listeners from radio, thousands of views from TV had the same problem with cats with this obsessive compulsive grooming. If you follow my advice, once again, I promise you, you get better sleep. I'm Warren Eckstein. Thank you, Kate, for the question.